Senator Order. Senator Patterson. Thank you, Mr. President. My question is to the Minister for Communications, Senator Fifield. What is the government's response to yesterday's announcement by the ABC's Triple J that its hottest 100 countdown will no longer be held on Australia Day, the 26th of January? Okay. Order on my left. Order on my left. Order. I'm not going to call the minister until there is some semblance of order. Senator Dastiari. Senator Watt, you've had a pretty free run this question time. Senator Watt, order. So have you, Senator Dastiari. Senator Fifield. Thank you, Mr. President. I am sorely tempted to break into song, but I'll be strong. Um, Mr. Uh, President, uh, I, I regret to say that uh, Senator Patterson is correct. Uh, yesterday, the ABC's Triple J uh, did announce that the hottest 100 will no longer be held on Australia Day. Shame. Uh, Mr. President, for the last uh, 20 years, uh, the hottest 100 has counted down on Australia Day. Uh, it's been the soundtrack for Australia Day. Uh, the decision taken by the ABC to remove the hottest 100 from Australia Day is, quite frankly, bewildering. Uh, it is one that the government does not support. Uh, Mr uh, President, uh, we recognise, uh, obviously, that uh, Australia Day uh, and, uh, Order on my left. and its history Order. Uh, can be complex for some Indigenous Australians. Uh, and it's right and proper that those views will be covered Order, on Senator the Watt. ABC. But the fact is the overwhelming majority of Australians support the 26th of January as Australia Day. It's a day that we celebrate. It's Senator, a day that Senator unites Singwood, us. Senator Hanson -Young. Uh, the 26th of January is our national day. Uh, that's my view. It's the view of all my Senators, colleagues on this side of the chamber. Senators it's Dastiari the view of, of the overwhelming majority of Australians. Uh, Mr President, uh, let me make clear uh, on behalf of the government uh, that the date of Australia Day will not be changing. Uh, Triple J and the ABC should respect that fact. Uh, Triple J and the ABC should not be inserting themselves into political debates uh, by taking decisions like this. Absolutely. Senator Patterson on a supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. President. And for the information of senators, I am more of an EDM man, and I don't play that as often as I like on Triple J. But I'm sure, um, based on my bit, order Sen on my left. <laughs> Senator Brandis order asked, on my asked left. what's Senator that? Carr. Uh, electronic dance music, Senator Brandis. Electronic dance music. I'd urge you to get to your question, Senator Patterson. Thank you. Can the minister outline reasons why Triple J has given for this decision and what is the government's response? Okay. Order on my left. I will call the minister when there is some... Senator Dastiari and Senator Carr, you've been quiet for a while, but you're interjecting a bit over the top now. Senator Fifield. Uh, thanks, Mr President. Uh, Triple J have stated, and I quote, uh, we all agreed that the hottest 100 shouldn't be part of a debate about the day it's on. Uh, yet Mr President, by their very actions, Triple J and the ABC have inserted themselves as participants at the very centre of this debate. Uh, the ABC and Triple J should not be putting themselves in a position where their programming decisions are seen as making loud political statements. Uh, Mr President, uh, Triple J has pointed to two surveys uh, that they conducted of their listeners, uh, but the ABC and Triple J have a broader responsibility than to just one market segment. They have a broader responsibility to the entire Australian people who render in excess of a billion dollars a year to the organisation. Poll after poll demonstrates public support for Australia Day as the 26th of January. ABC should order. respect that. Sen yeah. Senator, yeah. Senator Reynolds. Uh, Senator thank Reynolds. You. Point of order. On a Senator Cameron, can I hear Senator Reynolds on the point of order? Sorry, I was going to get a, a stand up for a point of order before the minister stood up, but I just want to ask, uh, refer to you comments Senator Carr made about Senator Patterson goose stepping. And I think that that is highly inappropriate, the connotations for that to Senator Patterson, and I would ask you ask him to withdraw it. 
That wasn't the context he said it Senator, in. Senator, okay, thank you, Senator Reynolds. Senator, I, I, did not, I did not hear the comment the first time, but I think I heard it upon its being repeated. Um, I, I don't think that necessarily consider that he's unparliamentary, but Senator Carr, you've been requested to, re to withdraw. You've been requested to withdraw. Oh, if it causes offence to uh, Senator, I'll withdraw it. Huh? Thank you, Senator Carr. That facilitates the operation of the chamber. Sen Senator Patterson on a final supplementary question. Thank you, Mr President. Can the minister inform the Senate what action the minister has taken to raise the government's concern with the ABC? Senator Fifield. Thank you, uh, thank you Mr President. Uh, I think, as colleagues would know, uh, the ABC has legislated independence. Uh, with regard to programming decisions, and uh, the ABC board has ultimate responsibility for these matters. Uh, I have, uh, however, written to the chair of the ABC uh, to ask that the board reconsider and reverse this decision. Uh, it will be a matter for the ABC board to determine, uh, but the government's view is that they ought to recognise the overwhelming view of Australians Order on, on this left. issue. Order on my uh, left. As I've said, uh, Mr. President, uh, the hottest uh, 100 uh, is the soundtrack of Australia Day. Uh, it's a popular and recognised feature of Australia Day. Australia Day is the 26th of January. It will remain so, and the ABC should recognise and respect that fact. Order.